Make yourself comfortable. Um, I'll make some coffee. Great, great. I really like your apartment. It's a lot like mine. Have, have you lived here long? Yeah, uh, I uh, used to live here with my ex, but she left a year ago. Coffee will be just a couple minutes. Great, great. Was it a rough breakup? Not as bad as a relationship. Not pretty. I can relate to that. All right, Samantha. Yeah, yeah, Samantha. Yeah. She seems interesting. Not at all the way that you described her. Well, I, I do tend to wear rose-colored glasses whenever it comes to her. I mean, it's weird. Whenever she's around, I turn into this pathetic lapdog. I... Well, you didn't seem like a lapdog earlier. I mean, come on, a cucumber? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, really sorry about that. Don't be. It was hilarious. I mean, the whole thing, her showing up and all, I mean, it was... It's okay. ...messy. I just, for a while there, I thought you were going to leave with her. Oh, see, there was no chance of that happening. Really? Why not? Oh, I like you. A lot. <sighs> well, have you been nervous, or...? What about? Dating a lesbian? I mean, not a lot of guys would be too comfortable with that. <laughs> lesbian schmesbian. I mean, look, it's no different than dating a straight woman, right? I don't know. I never dated a straight woman. <laughs> you know, I once heard of this guy who actually made a list out of how dating lesbians was different. I mean, God, can you believe that? <sighs> Unbelievable. I mean, some guys, you know, I'm... I'm nervous. What about? <sighs> My heart, it's, um, it's racing. What are you, are you scared of me? No, no, it's, it's not you. I mean, it is you, but it's good that it's you. See, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I just, I'm afraid of what I'm feeling. I was hurting you, wasn't I? But God, no, no, look, it, it, it was phenomenal. It just, I can't. Do you have something? Oh, no, 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 it's not that. It... What is it? Look, look, let's just drop it, okay? It's not even important. No, I don't want to drop it. Look, I'm not going to start a relationship with secrets. Come on, you can tell me. Well, it just, I don't want to hurt you. How? You know. No, I don't. You lost the... What do you mean, emotionally? Oh, that is so sweet. I can't believe that you threw... <laughs> Look, I have thought about this a lot, and I really do want to sleep with well, you. See, that's not exactly what I was talking about. Although I don't want to hurt you emotionally either, but I was talking about hurting you physically with my penis. Whoa, 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 time out. Uh, you're that big? I mean, I figured you were long... To the point where it would hurt me? Wow. No, no, it's not huge or anything, you know, but still. Well, how big is it? It's average. Six inches. All right, okay, fine. Uh, slightly less than average, okay? But, but it's thick. And, and, you know, with you being a lesbian, uh, you're not used to penises. <laughs> where did you get that idea from? Uh, my friends. My friends are telling me all about how, you know, with two women, there's this key element missing. Come and here. Now, look. All right, I may not have been with a lot of men, but I think I can handle it. And anyway, thank you for caring. But today, I bought my first condom, and I really want to use it. Don't hurt me. Oh, I, I thought that you said that. No, me. Don't hurt me. I can't hurt you. Yes, you can. 
importa la mano. Omelet. You're still here? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I just assumed after last night that... No, no, no. <sighs> never mind. That smells good. Oh, it is good. I hope you don't mind. I mean, I made myself at home. Hello? Well, did you do it? I mean, was it good? Is he still there? Come on, we're dying to know. Yes, we did. Yes, it was. Yes, he is. And who is we? Me and Chris. You with Chris? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I should be asking you the same question. You are such a pig. He's a nice guy. Oh, well, Anthony's a nice guy, too. Yes, he is, but... Well, listen, uh, Ronnie, I'm a little busy right now. Could I call you later? They're doing it right now. Oh, hang up. Okay, hon, I'll call back when... Oh, wait. Ask him about tonight. Oh, um, do you and Anthony want to do something tonight, the four of us? You mean like a double date? I like women, not Chris. No offense. Well? Hey, do you want to go out with frickin' Frack tonight? Sure. Yeah, sure. Now let me go, okay? Great. But was that let me go to me or to Anthony? Because if... <laughs> She's such a slut. I'm so jealous. We're on. So they're really hitting it off. Well, they were doing it. I guess you could say that's a good sign. Oh, yes! <laughs> Look at you. You're acting like you scored. Yeah. Veronica, when one man scores, it's like they scored for all men all over. Bullshit. You really love him, don't you? No, it's not that I feel that way. It's just that I don't have to hear a moan about Samantha anymore. You know, it's okay to say that you love another man. I mean, you don't have to feel embarrassed or ashamed. I'm not embarrassed or ashamed. It's just that if I felt that way, I would admit it. Look at you, you can't even say it. Come on, seriously, what's wrong with loving a guy? You're the lesbian, you tell me. You know, I can say that I love Rose, and I mean in a friendship way, not as lovers. Well, you see, women kind of say that thing to other women, but men don't. Where do men come up with this shit? What is this from, like, health class in fifth grade, you know, where they separate the girls and the boys. You know, we talk about our period and pregnancies. What, are you told that you're a fag if you show affection to another man? Absolutely. Oh, forget <laughs> it. You know, Veronica, you are going to love this place tonight. Of course I am. I go there all the time. You go to the corner tavern? The where? The corner tavern on Easton. God, no. <laughs> well, that's where we're going. Oh. Says who? Well, says me. I go there all the time. Well, you need to broaden your horizons, because we I am not going to the corner tavern. <laughs> oh, you're too good for the corner tavern. I mean, you need a place that serves, what, lattes? Oh, spritzers. no, that's, I don't even get into that stuff. I like beer. Well, then the corner tavern is the place. Chris, no, I don't want to go there. I feel uncomfortable. You know the reason why. Oh, because you're gay. Right. I want to be able to be myself. Well, that makes sense. God, you know, I am learning things every day. I mean, I would have never thought that, like, a gay person wouldn't be comfortable in a regular bar. No problem. Thanks. But where were you thinking of going? The clubhouse. And why would you be more comfortable there, might I ask? Because it's queer, that's why. Oh, we got a problem again, Brian. What's the problem? Oh. You're going to say that you're, you're going to feel uncomfortable at a gay bar. Absolutely. I don't want to go to a club where there's a hundred women and I'm the only man there. I mean, normally that would be ideal, but not when they're all gay. I mean, that would be a further blow to my already too low self-esteem. First of all, you don't have to worry about that because it's a mixed club and there'll be plenty of men there. Gay men? Well, it is a gay club. Oh, time out. Veronica, this is getting worse and worse. Now what? I don't want to go to a club with a bunch of gay men. Why? Oh, wait, don't tell me. You don't want men coming on to you all night. That's right. What makes you think they're going to want you? 
Well, I'm a guy for one, and... Listen, listen, I don't think you have anything to worry about. I bet the men will shun you just like women do. You think so? Well, I don't know. You are kind of cute. Maybe one or two will find you interesting. Oh, no, I can't have that. Okay. Well, why not? It feels weird. Do you ever try and talk to a woman at a club? Every time. And do they ever say they're not interested? Every time. So just do what women do to you, that's all. I mean, if someone finds you attractive, it's flattering. At least that's what they tell me. I don't want no man checking me out. Oh, relax. I'll protect you. Besides, you'll love it. <laughs>